Hello guys, this is your boy Christoph and you're back to my channel. First of all, I would like to say belated happy birthday to my Ninang Sweetie and shout out to all of my viewers around the world. What? Hello po sa inyo and please, please keep supporting our channel. I like me better when, I like me better when I'm with you. In this video, we will be learning the fundamental parts of our personal computer, particularly the desktop. Take note guys that we have two types of personal computers. It is either desktop or a laptop, which is basically the same but a laptop is more portable. Take note also guys that our cell phone is also a computer and your PlayStation or Xbox, whatever you have, is also a computer. And yes, there are a lot of other types of computers in the world. But for now, let us learn the desktop personal computer together. So let us look at the basic parts of the desktop computer. We have the computer case, or commonly known as the CPU. We have the monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse. These are the basic parts of our desktop computer. Each part plays an important role whenever we use the computer. Do you want to understand more about these parts? Well, if you said yes, okay, let us dig in a bit. First, let us look at the CPU. What can you see inside the CPU? Anyway, CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. And the CPU contains the main components of the computer like the motherboard, the processor, the graphics card, the memory, and let us not forget, the computer needs power supply to be able to work. Those are the things you can find inside the computer case or the CPU. Second is the monitor. Monitors look like our televisions, but most of the time they are smaller in size. The monitors usually we use or see right now is either LCD or LED. LCD means liquid crystal display and LED means light emitting diode. So these are the displays of the, the monitors. And I don't know about the older ones guys but it is good to know right? A few moments later. As per my research, the older monitors are having CRT. What? Next is the keyboard. Our keyboard is one of the primary ways to communicate with our computer as we use this part to enter data. And take note that there are many different types of computer keyboards such as wired, wireless, and ergonomic, and other more. Fourth is the mouse. What does this thing do? The mouse is our pointing device. It lets you point to objects on the screen, click on them, and move them. That is the main use of the mouse. There you go. We have covered the most basic parts of desktop computers. For any suggestions and questions, please have a comment and we'll try to have a look on them. Before we end this video, I would like to share with you my new desktop computer that my parents and my Nina gave me. This computer is very useful for me as I can use it for my homeschooling and also for my gaming. Yes, you heard it right. We can play games using our computer during weekends. <coughs> And we can also use it for photo or video editing and designing. Yes, guys, there are a lot of things that we can do with our computer depending on how it was built. Special mention to Tito Nell John Rivera who helped my dad in choosing the parts and making the computer works in its best that it can. It is really powerful comparing to the normal ones. Anyways, guys, this is my desktop computer. This, this will be partnered up with my new monitor, so... So, this is 
is how it looks without turning it, turning it on. Put it in it. And look. inside. Yeah. So much inside. Jeez. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. So I am so humbled and blessed that I have this kind of computer right now. Thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ who is always there to give us a favor and always there for everything. Anyways, I have written the specifications of my computer in the description below if you are interested to know. That's it for now guys. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching.